is a regular snowboard. And if you look really closely, you'll see that at the bottom of it is made of this kind of like smooth plastic material. This specific material is a thermoplastic called PTEX. And while it's pretty rigid, it was built for snow, which has some very unique properties. Snow, or ice, unlike many other solids, is slippery in its solid state. This slipperiness can be measured as a coefficient of friction, and ice has a coefficient of friction of 0.03, with 0.0 being something closer to magnetic levitation. So ice is pretty dang slippery. However, if we were to replace ice with a different solid, let's say silicon dioxide or sand, we would get a very different result. In this scenario, we would have a lot of friction, which is why sandboarding as opposed to snowboarding happens at a much slower speed, even with steep declines. So for today's experiment, I wanted to see how we could reduce friction and get a sandboard to its fastest speed possible. And the first step in this process is to mention our amazing sponsor for this video, Toyota. We will be taking the Toyota Mirai to some sand dunes for today's experiment. This car is Toyota's second generation FCEV, which stands for Fuel Cell Electric Vehicle and is powered by hydrogen. Also, this second generation has a super sporty vibe to it that is underpinned by the same platform also used by the Lexus LS and Lexus LC. This improves both handling and design. All right, so here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna take this snowboard and cover the PTEX plastic with a material that is super hard, which should create a much lower coefficient of friction than our plastic. However, we also want this material to be light enough so that we're not just standing in place in the sand. And this miracle material would be a super thin sheet of titanium. This metal is as strong as steel, but 45% lighter in weight. Also, to better understand if our titanium board is actually working, we're gonna be using a control, which is just a regular snowboard with a plastic underside. All right, so we have my good friend Luke here, Woo! and we're gonna make a titanium sandboard. What do you think are things that could go wrong just right off the top of the bat here? Well, a couple things is this board is actually not flat. So a lot of snowboards have a camber in the middle of it. Oh. And titanium is really hard to bend and to mold. But luckily, it's super, super thin, so we shouldn't have too big of an issue. And then after that, it's just making sure we sand it and cut it to size. And hopefully nothing snags because we don't want any friction coming on the bottom of this board. That's my biggest fear is actually is being out on the sand dune and going really fast and then it snags. Yeah. <laughs> We should just go down this. I know, that looks really good. Get the steadiest hands in the West. <laughs> Am I gonna ride the titanium board? Well, yeah. All right, I better get my crash pads on. Also, I'd like to mention that the vehicle that we're taking up to the sand dunes has also taken advantage of the concept of reducing friction. Because the undercarriage of the car doesn't house any pipes carrying exhaust or hot gases away from the engine, the whole undercarriage is one flat surface. This helps reduce friction, improving the aerodynamics of the vehicle, which increases fuel efficiency. Okay, so we're here at the sand dune. Luke is going to take the titanium board. I'm gonna take the control, which is just a regular snowboard. I personally think that titanium is going to crush the control. It's titanium. That board is gonna be sliding straight down that sand. What do you think? I'm a little skeptical. I think that titanium is gonna be like good, but just by a little bit. But all right, man, first run, let's go. Let's do it. is what Luke has to beat. So now it's titanium time. There's no way. I'm not going home a loser today. Let's do this. Tread. Tread. All right, let's send it. Perfect dismount. Look at that. That was actually not too bad, but I think I was a little slow. I'm a little nervous. Where were we at? Please tell me. You're at 18 seconds. Yes! Woo! 
I told you, I knew this was gonna be faster. So it worked. We did it, it worked, <laughs> heck yeah. So just to confirm that it's actually the board and not Luke's really good sandboarding skills, I'm also gonna do it on the titanium board and we're gonna compare times. And then after that, I think we're just gonna have some fun, dude. I'm ready to just keep shredding on this mountain. <laughs> So that worked perfectly and then not. Oh, no. So what happened? Okay, so the titanium board beat the plastic one on the first run, which we think was because the underbelly was the smoothest. On the second run, I think we scratched up the titanium too much. We didn't know that, we couldn't predict that. We believe that increased friction more than the plastic board, hence it actually went slower every run after that. So it turns out actually that the plastic that is on a regular snowboard is in fact the material that will reduce friction the most, which will create the fastest time downhill over time. And again, we just like had so much fun with this that we ended up just doing a bunch of runs with the actual regular plastic snowboard. It was a total blast. Also, big shout out to Toyota for sponsoring this video. I'd like to take a second to tell you exactly why I love the Mirai so much. This vehicle is such an impressive mashup of tech and style. The inside feels super luxurious, the sound system is fantastic, and all while literally only producing water as a byproduct. I'm just such a big fan of how much engineering, design effort, and technology is all wrapped up into this vehicle. Big shout out to Toyota, and we'll see you in the next video.